Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. I support the nation of Israel, first of all, because it's the right thing to do. Now, I've read both the Hebrew Scriptures and the Quran, and those writings make it abundantly clear which one is chosen by God. And the basic principles of those writings make it abundantly clear which one reflects the values and love of God. There is no excuse for anyone who calls themselves a Christian or an American to not support the nation of Israel. Israel and the USA are partners in freedom and democracy, and the entire world is witness to this. Neither country is perfect, and neither government is perfect. But frankly, our two nations are better than the rest. Now, over the centuries, there's been a conflict between the Christians and the Jews, mainly in Europe and the Middle East. Jews and Christians worked and fought side by side to establish the United States of America. In fact, the American Revolution would have failed if not for the Jews who not only fought, but kept the supplies and funding in place. Today there's a great reconciliation taking place between the Christian Church and the Jewish people. Persecution against both Jews and Christians is on the rise. Christians and Jews are being murdered for their faith in record numbers. We must stand together. And Barack Obama just gave the death to Israel thugs freedom to make nuclear weapons. Nuclear bombs for terrorists. That tells us everything we need to know about Mr. Obama. Jerusalem has been the capital of the Jewish people for over 3,000 years. It is their home and they deserve to live there in peace. And I will continue to stand for Israel because God Almighty stands for Israel. I challenge those in the USA who are on the wrong side. John F. Kennedy, considered to be the greatest Democrat, said this about Israel. Israel was not created to disappear. Israel will endure and flourish. It is a child of hope and home of the brave. It can neither be broken by adversity nor demoralized by success. It carries the shield of democracy. It honors the sword of freedom. Ronald Reagan, considered to be the greatest Republican, said this. For the people of Israel and America are historic partners in the global quest for human dignity and freedom. We will always remain at each other's side. There you have it. Whether you are Democrat or Republican, there is no excuse for you to not support the nation of Israel. Now, the USA is currently suffering under a corrupt administration in Washington, D.C. They have openly embraced evil agendas and rejected that which is good and true and right. One result of their evil agendas has been a diminishing of respect for Israel and open support of the vicious enemies of Israel. As one of millions of Americans who support Israel, I apologize to the Jewish people for allowing such a corrupt administration to come to power in Washington, D.C. I am doing what I can to ensure that that corrupt administration will soon be dismantled and replaced with one that is capable of distinguishing right from wrong and has the moral courage to follow that which is right. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God, again.